Proto-Indo-European steppe cultures like the Yamnaya were able to outcompete and overwhelm all of the European Neolithic farmer cultures. While there are various reasons for this, intelligence is not one of them. A recent study has shown that the Yamnaya, in fact, were not smarter than the European Neolithic farmers that they conquered, as both groups had comparable intelligence polygenic scores. However, Yamnaya men were a lot taller, they were a lot stronger, they had a greater disposition for gaining muscle. They showed higher stress resilience, which is indicative of a lower genetic risk for depression, and systematizing cognition, which is indicative of a predisposition for autistic traits. This is really fascinating to me because clearly the height and structural difference between the European farmers and the steppe cultures is that the steppe cultures relied on the diet that was heavy in animal products like meat and dairy and cheeses and fermented milk and that sort of thing, while the European farmers primarily relied on cereals and grains. Their nomadic lifestyles also offered an advantage in terms of mobility in that they could go wherever they wanted, conquer wherever they wanted, and sort of just settle into their environment. The domestication of the horse was huge for this. But I think what really puts the nail in the coffin for these Anatolian Neolithic farmers is the behavioral profile of the steppe cultures. So while we can't say that they were traditionally smarter than the Neolithic farmers, we can say that their behavioral profile, um, their resilience towards stress, and their neurodivergent traits uh, may have led to their success.